Hey guys, it's Emmanuel here. In today's video, we're going to be making this geometric shield in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I have my artboard here. And I'll just move over to the ellipse tool. You can also get that by clicking L on your keyboard. And just click on your keyboard and make an ellipse of 200 by 200 pixels. I'll just line that up in the center. And I'll zoom in. And I'll select it again. And I'll just go to edit and copy. And I'll make a duplicate in front by pasting it. And I'll just adjust it to 180 pixels. So that's going to form the top thickness of the shield. So I'll just select the outer circle and duplicate it just to the point where the middle of the circle aligns with the curve as you can see from the drawing. It doesn't need to be exact. And I'll just select my new circle now. And I'm also going to duplicate it again by copying and pasting. And I'll just shrink that in by 20 pixels to match the one below. Next, I'm going to draw a line in between so I'll be able to reflect the top circles at the left. So I'll select the top circles, go to my reflect tool here or click O. Click on the line and hold Alt and drag and you'll be able to reflect the circles to the right side. I can delete the line now. I no longer need it. So next, we'll just select the inner circle below and we're just going to duplicate it and reduce the duplicate by about 30 pixels and that's going to create the inner white space for the shield. So we'll select the new circle again and duplicate it and reduce it again by 20 pixels. So just for clarity, all the logo fill is 20 pixels and the white space is 30 pixels. So we'll select our two new circles and hold Alt and drag and we're just going to align it in the center of the top left circles and we're also going to do the same for the top right. We'll just select hold Alt and drag and align it as well. Next we'll go to our layers panel and we'll select all our circles. We'll press Ctrl C, create a new layer and we'll paste it in that new layer where we lock the first layer. So that's going to help us to form the grid pattern behind the logo. So next we'll select all our new layers and just use the shape builder tool. Can press shift and M and we'll gently create the fill within the logo. Now this might be a bit tricky. You might need to undo sometimes, but if you're careful, you get it. So let me just play through this. All right, guys, so we actually have a logo separate on one layer, as you can see here, and we have the other outlines on a separate layer, which is the layer one. And you can actually use this technique to make some a simple logo grid for your logos. If I just create a dash line here, adjust the dash and the gap and the stroke as well. Just tweak the color a bit to a light gray. And there you go. You can switch this to a black background or any color you like. And that's it guys. That's how to make the logo shield. I've actually attached the work files in the description. So make sure you check it out so you can download it and also test it for yourself to practice as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and always stay creative. Bye bye.